Hi, I'm Saba Salman. I'm a journalist, author of the book Made Possible. I'm the sibling of a disabled person and I'm also the trustee of a charity called SIBS, which supports the brothers and sisters of disabled people. I spend half of my working life writing about what's going wrong. So the huge inequalities in care, support, inclusion and access. And the other half, I tend to cover stories about what works and what's possible and how we can all benefit if all of us have an equitable stake in our society. And the main driver for my work is my sister Rana. And she really, in the last few years, has showed me and showed my family what is possible. And so my book, Made Possible, is an attempt to share her story of success, access and independence and also to share her personality with a wider audience and I'm so proud of what she does and I just feel that everybody should have the same opportunity to thrive and to reach their potential as my sister has. I wanted to be involved and I wanted to contribute to this weekend to mark an incredible piece of law, ALS Act, because I know what a huge difference it's made to my sister's life, to my life and to my family's life. But more than that, it's had a profound positive impact on the lives of millions of disabled people and their families. And I think without ALS Act 50 years ago, we would be living in a very, very different society and one that frankly would no way be as rich and as diverse and as inclusive as it is now. Three years ago, I began a project to crowdfund the book that's just come out, Made Possible. And the book is a collection of success stories by incredible people who've made huge achievements in a variety of fields, everything from fine art to sport, to music, filmmaking, theatre, campaigning and politics. And although it showcases these amazing people, it also explains the importance of everyday success, like my sister Rana's. Now, Rana hasn't won any national accolades, you know, she hasn't stood on stage at the National Theatre. But what she's achieved is her own everyday success, which is living in a place she loves, surrounded by people she trusts and wants to be with, keeping up all of her links with her friends and her family, and just thriving, doing things she's interested in. There are four main drivers behind Main Possible. So the first one is my sister Rana. I just wanted to share her story and show what people can do when they get the right support. The other reason for the book is to shatter some stereotypes because I think ordinarily people with learning disabilities in particular are either pitied or patronised um, or overlooked. And most people don't give learning disability a second thought. The other reason was to write about success because you never hear the word success in relation to learning disability. And the final reason was to create something that allowed people to speak in their direct voices. So this is very much people stories in their own true authentic voices. And that direct impact, I think, is even more important today than it's ever been. We're living with coronavirus and what coronavirus has done is to expose and intensify the huge gaps in our society that already exist. With disabled people disproportionately affected by COVID-19 and learning disabled people even more segregated and even more overlooked than they already were, it's a really challenging time for disability rights and equality issues. So all of the issues that were important 50 years ago in terms of levelling uh, that playing field in society are even more relevant now because there's a risk that people's rights and visibility will go hurtling backwards. And so it's, um, it's a really worrying time, which is why the ethos of ALS Act 
is even more important now. I made these short films to give a glimpse of the personalities and characters in the book made possible. And I really hope while watching them, you can see how each of these amazing people really reflect the spirit of Alf's act. I find them really inspiring and I hope you do too.